last episode, we limped our ailing Motoguzi to the Demon Tweaks parking lot where we tried to figure out what the problem was. Worse than ever now. Yeah. Before the mechanical problems, we needed a horn and a headlight bulb. Demon Tweaks is a parts warehouse. They also do race preparation for vintage and modern machinery. While we were there, some customers with some pretty interesting cars showed up, like this Reliant Robin three-wheeler. So I installed the new horn and put the headlight bulbs in without any problem. So by this time, I've removed the battery connectors, cleaned them. We removed the spark plugs and replaced them. I've removed and reinstalled all the fuses and relays. If you recall, when we first got to Dublin in an earlier episode, we had this problem. The bike went to the dealer and they said that there was a loose connection in the ECU, although they didn't really elaborate. So as a last ditch Hail Mary, I took the ECU out to look things over. Dry and shiny. So it appears that our friends in Dublin... Let's stop right there. So this bike has had a lot of ECU disconnect issues since I've had the bike. While the symptoms of this particular issue are completely different, this cross-threaded ground bolt connection would explain all of the issues we're having today. And several mechanics have been in here and not noticed it. It's obvious that our friends in Dublin did not fix the problem. And by jiggling wires around, they just changed the content. That is a very good sign. Very maybe. good sign. Maybe we found it. Oh, oh I, it's all stripped out, isn't it? Maybe. But that's okay. I can deal with that. Oh, yeah. They... Oh. I'm amazed this worked that long. All right. Let me deal with this. likely that that was the problem. We'll the lights the weren't flashing. We'll do it. Yeah, it was a ground. It's, it's always a brat. It's always a bad brat. It's always a bad ground with these Italian. Any Mattel Italian machine. Yep. All right. <laughs> let's put it back together. And uh, why don't you go in and, and then I got to do a bunch of emailing and call off the cavalry. <laughs> Here's where you'll see that I didn't notice and Kathy didn't remember that she hung her helmet on the side peg of the bike. Well, it gets dragged around a little bit before I stop. Ah. What?
you made it. Unbelievable. Oh, what a day. Between the bike breaking down multiple times. Ooh, I can't believe we made it here. Full rain gear, now it's blue sky, it's beautiful. Ugh. We got this nice site right on the hedgerow so we can set up our tarp if we need it. We got some rain over there, but man, it's good to be here. Our friends Jim and Alan live here, and we walk over for a visit. Their house is the one with the Fiat Panda out front. This morning, I do a little cleanup on the bike. It's been a while. All while the Royal Air Force fighter jets fly overhead, and I find some loose nuts and bolts. Well, we've had a non-bike day. Did a lot of catch-up, did some laundry at Jim and Allen's. I got two videos uploaded. And uh, now we're gonna meet up with the Volvo again. There it is. episode when we explore deeper into the country of Wales. Come along with us as we tour a vintage railway maintenance facility and visit the highest navigable waterway in the world. We also ride on some of the best roads Wales has to offer.